Hi, I'm Eric Naso with ericnaso.com. And today I have the very cool Zacuto Gradical X in. What is the, the Gradical X? Well, it's the same viewfinder EVF as the HD version, but it doesn't come with any installed features, so you have to download them. Basically, they're purchased a la carte, where the HD version, well, it comes with a lifetime of feature support. So anytime there's a new feature, Zacuto will email you, tell you, hey, we got new features for our, your HD. But with the X, you'll have to buy them. So that's the biggest difference. But there's a big price difference, too. The difference in price, this X version, the Gradical X, is $1,650 as compared to the HD version, which will run you $3,100. So, yeah, it's a pretty big difference in price. And I think when you buy the X, I don't know if you're that person. I'm, I'm, I looked at the the regular HD version, and it's packed with a ton of features. I won't use all of them. I think there's probably maybe four or five that I really want, maybe six, depending. But I think I could get away with probably around $400 worth of features, which would still put this thing roughly around 2,000, maybe 80, 85, I don't know, somewhere in there, probably under $2,100. So I think I could save about $1,000 if I got the X. So. That's kind of the way you have to think because you don't want the X if you want to buy $2,000 worth of features or $1,500 worth of features. You're better off with the HD version. So anyway, that aside, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how easy this is to install the activate and all that fun stuff because yes, right now it is a manual process. And what does manual process mean? Well, it means that it's not automated, that when you buy a, you know, a feature, it's not gonna just instantly push you into an email, <laughs> push out an email to you, and then uh, you'll get the, uh, the features. So right now, somebody actually at Secudo has to send you the features. So if you buy a feature on a Sunday, you won't get it till a Monday. If you buy a feature on a Monday, you'll have them pop down an hour or two until they work out you know, the feature push out process. Wow, that's hard to say. So for now, probably a couple months, um, this video is being taped you know, late July, so in a couple months, it'll all be automated. All you do basically is go to the website, buy the features, install them. And speaking of that, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go through the entire process of when you unbox it and what do you do? Well, I'll show you what happens. <laughs> you basically have to activate it, and, but from there, you know, there's a little bit of a process, but it's super simple. So why don't we go ahead and let's, let's just get started. So when you get the Gradical X, it comes with a little card where the battery goes in and it shows you the website that you go to activate it. It's a very simple process. You just go to the website, fill out the form, and it's basically registering the Gradical X. And they're gonna email you the text file that you have to put on a USB flash drive. It has to be a USB flash drive, not an external drive. It has to be formatted FAT32. Those are two very important things you need to know when you get this Radical X and you to activate it. You install it on the USB flash drive, then you just put it into the Gradical X. It has a USB port on the back. Push the button, activate it, and you're off and running. Now when you go to the website, all you have to do is pick some features that you want. I picked about four. They ran a little over $400, so I think my total purchase price would be around $2,085, or a little over $2,000. That's not bad. I think that's a pretty good price point for the Gradical X. If you're gonna buy a ton of features, then just get the HD version. Yes, I know it's $3,100, and that is a big chunk of change, but it, I guess there's another way of thinking. Maybe if you wanna get in on this and sort of add features as you go, that's also a very good idea. All right, back to features and how you install them. You basically do the same thing you did when you registered your Gradical. You take the text file that gets emailed to you, and then you make sure your, your flash drive is ready to go, and then you just pop it on there. That's it, and then you just install it like you did when you activated it. It's very simple. It's only a text file, so it doesn't take very long to load. You just pop in the USB stick, go into the menu, select it, install a la carte features, and boom, it's done. The few things I really love about the Gradical is just how well built it is. It's solid. It's not heavy. It's just built really well. The diopter works really well. It's very smooth. 
The eye cup is shaped in a way that, yeah, you can wear your glasses while you're shooting, which is something I've had problems with. The buttons are laid out nicely. All on the side, you have four presets. You can change those presets in the menu. Very simple. Pick the ones or the features that you like the most, and you can just get to them real quickly. Out of the box, the X model works with SDI and HDMI, so that's not a feature you have to pay for. The optics are just great. The image is so sharp in there. I had the A7S set up in S-Log2 and it worked great. It was very sharp. I actually could focus, which I can't really say that for the viewfinder that's built into the A7S. My favorite feature has to be scopes. Yeah, that doesn't sound too sexy, but darn it, it's great to know if you're getting a good exposure. And that's very important to me. I can focus because this thing is really sharp. One thing I have to mention is battery life. Yes, it uses those Canon LPE6 batteries, and well, it is kind of power hungry, but if you have a few of them, you can get through the day. You'll probably get about three to four hours, depending on the features that are used. And also, well, everybody has different model of LPE6. I think I have three or four third party types, and uh, you know, they're all pretty good. The Canon ones are always better, but yes, they cost five times more. Mounting the Gradical X is super easy. Just like the HD version, it has a rosette on the side and a quarter 20 on the bottom. The Axis Mini works extremely well and I highly recommend it. Well, that's it. I told you it was easy. The Gradical X is a really nice EVF. It's so sharp, well built. You can wear your glasses if you have them. The diopter is extremely adjustable. It just is a great tool for your rig. If you're shooting on small cameras, it, it, it's even more of a necessity. Uh, it's hard to shoot outside with these things. The LCD screens aren't very good. The EVFs are pretty good, but if you're on a tripod, it's really not easy to use. I, it's hard to hover over a small camera. It's just such a tight little package. Add on an EVF, the Gradical X, and it, boy, it makes shooting that experience so much better. All right, and for a limited time through August, at the end of August, uh, you can get some free frame guides. So just, hey, check this out right there. There's your code. Put that in there and you're off and running with a little bit of a freebie from me. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, I'm Eric Nazo with ericnazo.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.